I'm gonna rev it up on the table, that new nine blade. Oh! I was not expecting that. Hey pilots, welcome back to Motion RC. I'm James and today we're doing a build on obviously one of our classics, probably the best selling free wing model ever made. Only this one's in the new red scheme that came out in August. This is the free wing 80 millimeter Avanti S. Now, obviously the reason we're doing this build, um, a lot of people who get these, it's a very simple build, but we like to keep our YouTube library full of build videos, flying videos, and all the information you need on all your jets. And I realized that we never actually got around to doing a proper Avanti build way back when, even when they had the yellow version. So the purpose of this video again is a build and assembly. So if you just got your Avanti, again, what is the Avanti? It's a sport jet that is probably many consider the best flying jet on the market, foam electric, um, just out of the box. So that's straight stock. Uh, it's a great trainer jet. If you've never flown an EDF, the Avanti is something that people recommend. Despite it being an 80 mil, not a 64 or a 70 mil, I think you can still get away with the Avanti being your first EDF. But the layout of this video, as usual, we'll go through a full unboxing, show you all the pieces that come out of the box, then we're gonna go step by step through the build. Um, and then at the end, just finish it up, wrap it up, talk about the CG, where you're gonna place your battery, talk about the rates and such, and end the video. So let's get started with the spec. So taking a look at the spec, we'll start with the wingspan, guys. It's a 1,236 millimeter wingspan, or 48.7 inches. And the length is an even 1,300 millimeters, uh, 51.2 inches. It's running a 100 amp brushless ESC, regardless if you get the yellow or the red one. The only differences are, is in the motor. The, uh, the red one, when it came out, we realized that they upgraded, Freewing had upgraded to that nine blade motor that we debuted with the 80 millimeter V2 of the Mirage. So the nine bladed fan, a little more efficient. What you lose in the sound, you definitely gain in uh, again, the efficiency and the power. So they added that to the red Avanti. So that motor is a 3530-1900 kV motor, again with an 80 millimeter nine blade ducted fan. But the yellow one is still running on the original 12 bladed ducted fan and it's a 3530-1850 kV motor. Now that could change in the future. They might just decide to start putting what's in the red Avanti into the yellow, but we'll know, and if, if you receive a yellow Avanti in the future and you're watching this video, please leave a comment and let anyone know if the motor uh, was upgraded, because you might find out even before we do. So rounding out the spec, the aircraft has eight nine gram digital Metal Gear servos throughout, and then the retracts are those nice upgraded aluminum shock absorbing landing gear and strobe lights uh, in the aircraft. So now let's move on to the unboxing. So now taking it out of the box, guys, you can see as with all free wing models, this baby is wrapped really nicely. Mine was wrapped a little differently because I had some extra bits that uh, I had ordered when I got this one. So I just pulled those out, reboxed it up and I'm showing you as is, but you can see everything is included nicely. So first thing out of the box, we'll pull out the little baggie that's gonna have all your control rods, your linkages, all little extra bits, the glue that you're gonna need to finish off the Avanti when you get to that point. And then you can see, taking it right out, we got the first wing section here, and the wings are beautifully done. I do like the red scheme, it's a little different. Obviously, you'll be different at the clubs from everybody flying the yellow one, but it's nice with the checkerboard. Nice finish on the foam, and then you can see the ball links are already pre-installed for you. They look really nice. You got nylon hinges, again, the wingtip light there on the end, and then taking a look at the part that connects to the fuselage, you do have your ribbon cable connector. So everything is done for you pretty nicely and the retract is already in there and it's gonna slot in nicely when you get to that point in the build. Further taken out, you have your horizontal stab. So again, two servos are in here powering your elevators and then you're just gonna connect them to the multifunction control board that's in the fuselage when you get to that point, and they'll run together. You do have your vertical stab, again, nice, nice plastic molded pieces where it's gonna to connect to the fuselage. Very simple, and again, the rudder, uh, the rudder servo is installed on the vertical stab. 
Then miscellaneous bits, you got your carbon spar is gonna come out. You have your removable, easily magnetically removable nose cone, which has a plastic tip. So if you wanna, you know, just stand her up on her nose and she could take a punch if needed without damaging too much. And then unlike other free wing models, the canopy comes a little separate. You can see here that they do uh, have the cover off the canopy. So they give you some stickers that are gonna be for the cockpit. Um, if you want to put that on, if you want to add a pilot to it, you can do all that stuff before you glue the canopy on to the, to the actual hatch, the foam portion, and that's really what the glue is for. Uh, that and these, also these two wing fences, you're going to be gluing those on to the wings uh, later in the build as well. That's all you're going to need the glue for, but again, for the purpose of this, I'm not putting a pilot or anything in there. I'm just going to glue them on as so. And then lastly, you're going to have the big fuselage. So pulling it out, again, you can see the canopy uh, is off when you pull it out. And look at all the space in there. They're recommending a 4,000 to a 5,100 as for the book. But I think that's just because of what they had at the time the Avanti was made. But now I know guys are running 6,000 plus milliamp 6S packs on the Avanti and getting tons of flight time. So definitely jump on the forums like Hobby Squawk, RC Groups. Check out YouTube videos. There's more than enough information at this point to uh, get your Avanti flying well. So that'll do it guys for the unboxing. Everything looks good. Let's take it step by step through the build. So step one, you get right to it guys. It's taking your wings and installing them on the fuselage. So your main wings. So first things first, grab your carbon tube. You're gonna put that right through the center of the fuselage. You see there's two holes. It's gonna be the one more forward. Uh, the, the aft hole is going to be for the spar that is already connected to the wing. Once you get the two tubes in there, start sliding it in and you see the ribbon cable which is in the fuselage. You just want to pull that out a bit, get it plugged into the wing, and then slowly work the wing on very easily. Fits like a glove. And once you do that for both wings, then you're going to take the four screws. So you can see the baggie, they only give you 12 screws for this entire build. Eight of them are going to be 10 millimeter screws with like a wood screw edge. Those are going to be for your elevator and your horizontal stab. Then the four smaller, shorter, uh, flat screws, those are going to be for the brass inserts for the main fuselage. So we're going to use these four screws, drive them in, and when you get that done, you have your wings on your Avanti. Step two is installing your horizontal stabilizer. So now here guys, when you unravel the wires, you're going to see you get a lot of wires. Uh, back when the Avanti was made, they still hadn't come up, I guess, with the way to connect them like so many new jets have where everything's sort of just in there. So what you're going to want to do is probably from an older jet you have or grab some sort of go get them wire like we have here, stick it through the front of the fuselage, and then you're just going to take the two elevator leads, put them on there, pull it right through the fuse, and you're going to have no problem. There's more than enough slack to get those servo leads where you need to get them. And then you can see here the horizontal stab fits on perfectly. There's four holes that line up perfectly with the horizontal stab uh, in the fuse. So once you get that on, it fits snug like a glove. Just take four again of the wood type screws, 10 millimeter long, and drive them in, and you're done with your horizontal stab. Then step three is gonna be your vertical tail. So similarly, they give you a long wire, a long lead coming off the rudder servo. So you're gonna use that wire again, bring it through the fuselage, catch that rudder servo lead and pull it through. And then the vertical stab can only fit one way. So once you pop that on, you're gonna use the last four screws that you have in the bag. And you're gonna put two on the back side of the vertical stabs going uh, perpendicular to the, to the vertical stab. And then two we're gonna drop in the front. There's a molded plastic piece that help connect it down to the front. Then lastly, uh, step four is just gonna be all your little miscellaneous bits. So again, you wanna glue, do what you wanna do to your hatch, but you're basically gonna be gluing on your canopy. As you can see here, I just used the, the glue that came with it, gluing that to the hatch. And then also you have your magnetic nose cone. I mean, no real assembly <laughs> needed, just pop that on there. And then you're gonna glue in your wing fences. So once you get those glued in, that'll basically do it for all the parts out of the box. And then the next step is going to be getting all your control rods attached. But I always suggest binding up your aircraft first, making sure all the servos are centered before you do this. So let's do that now. So I'm not going to show you how to install the push rods because that's pretty easily. Everything is one to one. So you're going with the outside hole on all the servos and the outside hole on all of the control horns. What you want to do though is just lay all your push rods out on the table like I do. You're going to need four 55 millimeter 
push rods. There's gonna be two of those for the flaps and two of those are for the elevator. The longer ones, the two longer ones, 63 millimeters are for your aileron. And then the shortest one is gonna be for your rudder. So once you figure all that out and your uh, aircraft is bound up, then just get those slapped on and you're gonna have a finished Avanti S. All right, and then for your quick setup tips, guys, again, we'll talk center of gravity first. So the book calls for 105 to 110 millimeters. That's four and an eighth or four and three eighth inches back from the leading edge of the wing. So again, depending on the battery you're gonna use, whether it's a 4,000 6S or all the way up to over 6,000 milliamp 6S, you're just gonna have to find that center of gravity, but shouldn't be hard. And as far as your rates here, guys, low rates and high rates, again, start out with the book settings. You can see on this, the aileron, I set it up as the book goes, low rate, 19 millimeter deflection. It's about 70%, and then 100% gives you about 26 millimeters of deflection. I was using the, the Hobbyco uh, AccuThrow um, deflection measurement system that we got on the website. Check that thing out. I saw Patrick Crowsdale use it for a lot of our flight reviews, so I thought, I need to get one because this thing works great and you should have no problem getting your low rates and your high rates set up. So there you have it guys, that is the Avanti S. I hope that shows you everything you need and uh, if you're gonna be purchasing one or you just purchased an Avanti, I hope that helped you out get it set up. I'm excited to fly it, I actually never personally flew an Avanti but at this point I've flown my Hawk so many times and the L39 a bunch so I'm sure it's gonna be nice and uh, easy to fly as I expect and just an enjoyable experience. But let's show you while I have it on the table, I'm just gonna plug it in quick. I was using a standard 4000 Admiral just for my binding and to keep the nose on the table. But I got my radio turned on. I do. Let's just get it plugged in. I'll show you the retracts. Again, they look really nice. So everything's plugged into that multifunction control box inside. We'll get some B roll of that to show you. That makes these things just so much easier. I've never had a problem with one, but again, you got your lights, so you got your strobe on top, so if you need the, in the dusk, and then you have your red on the left and your green tip on the right, your orientation, uh, which always looks nice in the sky. Now let's show you, let's uh, rev it up while I got it plugged in. She's got that nine, again, nine blade fan. Plenty of power which we love. And then lastly, let me flip her over. And you can see those retracts. Nice. Now that is not a servo driving the door, it's just a spring loaded. So the landing gear just touches the spring and closes the door. So it shouldn't get in the way, it should be very easy. And then you can see nose gear is gonna steer with the rudder. So that looks good. And then your flaps. So I got three positions. So I went there, that's book flaps. You could go, when I, when I initially plugged them in, they were straight perpendicular, 90 degrees down. I'm like, ah, she's not a high wing cub. Let's not do that, but that should be perfect. Nice flaps. And we are all good on the Avanti S. So again, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If this is your first time about to fly the Avanti, you use this video to build it. We wish you the best of luck on your maiden. Again, like all things Motion RC, guys, a lot of fun going on in 2019. Uh, gonna be happening on the Motion RC fan media page. Follow us on Instagram and look out. We're gonna be posting uh, the events that we're gonna start going to. Obviously, Joe Nall and all in the fall will be guaranteed, but there's some other events we hopefully will be able to get out to and do some flying with you guys. So again, that'll do it for this video, guys. Like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.